Hey y'all, I thought of another red flag. So be careful of the nart. If your nart likes to talk to every single body, like he got to talk to the neighbors, he got to get to know everybody in the neighborhood or whatever, watch out for that. Because that's how they be setting up them flying monkeys. Because I thought about something. You know, it, I was actually asked a question and it made me think a little further in. And I'm going to get to a question after a while. Um, Scorpio Caria, I'm going to respond to your message, your comment. So, um, but right now I'm going to just tell you about my red flag that I want you guys to be aware of. So, we moved to this neighborhood and I mean, he got to know everybody around here. He really did. And if you, if they didn't like him back or interact with him and stuff like that, he would be mad at them. He would come back home and be like, oh, that itch didn't speak to me. Or every time I speak to him, he don't never say nothing back. I'm like, why are you concerned about the These people out here ain't that important? What you getting your drawers all up in a bunch for? Cause these people ain't speaking to you. I don't speak to everybody when I come outside. I don't even know everybody in our neighborhood. But he know everybody and he know everybody's business. He got to know each and every one of these people out here in this neighborhood. And I don't know nobody like that. Because I stay in the house, first of all. I go to work. I go grocery shopping. I go to church. And I'm back home. I stay in the house. I like people. And I like chilling with people sometimes. But I like to be alone. I don't mind just chilling in my room and that don't make me anti-social or anything because when i get with a clique or get with people i know how to mingle with everybody or whatever but i'm thinking that's how he was setting up his flying monkeys to watch over me because when i think back on some of my stories of how he came back in to hoover and gaslight me was only when I started to move on. Long as I was single and not talking to nobody or I'm just staying in the house, I ain't going nowhere, he wouldn't talk to me. Sometimes that's six months. Sometimes, it well, it ain't never went over six months. It's went six months and shorter. But if he get wind of something going on or I'm trying to move on or whatever, that's when he comes back in. But be careful with them always talking to the neighbors and this, different things like that because they're baiting them up. They trying to set them up to be their flying monkeys so that way when they discard you, they still got eyes on you while they're gone. Still controlling the situation. So that was a red flag I wanted you to be aware of. Like, yeah, if they got to talk to everybody in the neighborhood we y'all live at, it might be something up with that. He might be trying to set up some flying monkeys to watch over you when he's gone or when she's gone or however it is. But yeah, just keep that in mind. So I had two questions from Scorpio Caria. How you doing, boo? Okay. So your first question was, has he been contacting you and trying to get back with you? <clears throat> I'm going to say at this moment, no, he hasn't. It's only been about a month now. So, I'm going to say he would, you know, like I said, if he don't sense that anything is going on over here on this end, he won't bother me. But as soon as I start moving on and trying to, you know, step back out on the dating scene or whatever, soon as I get to chilling with somebody, he comes out of the blue. Calling, not showing up, but he'll call out of the blue. So, right now... There's no activity from him. There's nothing. He's laying low. And this is normal for him around this time. You know, so it's only been a month. So I expect to hear something from him in about two more months or maybe. Or maybe maybe sooner. Because sometimes he do switch it up so I can't keep track. But it's still all the same thing. So yeah, right now, no. He is quiet as a mouse. He ain't bothering me. He ain't reaching out to me. But you best believe he got somebody watching me. And with that, I don't care who he got watching me. Ain't no one monkey going to stop no show. If I want to do something, I'm going to do it. He not going to hold me back from nothing. He don't scare me. He can pull whatever he want to pull. He can say whatever he want to say. He can do whatever he want to do. I don't care. 
You don't own me. You don't run me. If I want to do it, just like your narcissistic self, I'm going to do it. But I come in peace. I don't come with the foolishness. But you ain't going to make me feel like I can't do and move on with my life how I want to. You ain't got that control. I'm sorry. You, you, He might try it. He might try it. He been trying it. By having little monkeys go back and tell him different things or whatever. But them, I don't care about them either. Mind your business. Anybody come up and ask me about him? Like, I ain't seen old boy in a minute. You ain't got to worry about it. You ain't going to see him again. That's exactly what I tell him now. I used to be like, oh, he out of town right now or whatever. And this, that, da, 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 da. Because I was looking forward to him coming back. So, you know what I'm saying? I would leave hope in there because I knew he was coming back. Not this time. Mm -mm. Uh, no, you won't ever see him again. Not over here. You won't see him again. So, yeah, to answer that question, no, he isn't reaching out to me right now. And this is fairly normal dealing with the art that I've dealt with. He has not been reaching out. He hasn't said anything. One person came and asked me about him. And I just, I, I cut him off right there. Mm -mm, don't say that name. Don't, don't even ask about him. You ain't got to worry about it no more. So, that's the only thing that's happened so far. But, later on, he'll show his head. He will. Um, then she asks, do you know if he watches your videos? And if he does, has he said anything? I don't know if he watching my videos, but I definitely know he got other people watching my videos. That'll go back and report to him or whatever. But like I said, he quiet right now. He ain't said nothing. I don't really know if he remembered my YouTube name or whatever. And if he did... It is what it is. You know what I'm saying? At this point, I don't care. I'm just telling the truth and trying to wake up as many people as I can wake up. So if he hears about it or see it, it is what it is. I don't care. I ain't telling no lies. And who going to check me? So I think that he has people. Well, because we're from the same area, same town or whatever. A lot of the people that I'm fa friends with on Facebook, they know him as well. So there's no telling that if I'm posting anything, are they sending it to him? But I don't really post nothing on Facebook anyway. I'm nosy. I like to look at other people's stuff. I post little stuff here and there. But after that one relationship where I had this big fallout on Facebook, I cut that out a long time ago. So now I post what I want to post and I keep my personal business to myself. So, if they telling him anything, they ain't doing nothing but telling him I glow up. So, that might run me in too because you know they love that. They love to come jump on the bandwagon when you're doing good. And then they want to snatch all that from you and leave you high and dry. So, at this point, it's pretty quiet and this is normal for me. I usually have about six months, sometimes shorter, where I don't have... I don't have no issues with him. But it's it seems like every time I be like, all right, I'm good. I feel like he got my hair. I feel like I'm about ready to start back, you know, easing my way back into the dating scene or whatever. Then here he goes. Because that one story I told y'all about, about the 4th of July, he had discarded me. I hadn't heard from him for six months. 4th of July... I decided to have a friend come over and spend the 4th of July with me. Out of the blue. I'm getting messenger, FaceTime messages from him. Phone calls from him. He don't never, when he coming back in for a gaslight or Hoover, he never calls me video chat. He always either call me on the phone or he'll send a text message. This time, I put it together. I was like, oh... He called him because somebody know when they told him that I got a guy over here. That's what it is. Okay. So I'm sitting and I'm chilling all of a sudden. My phone on Messenger is ringing from him. And I'm just like, this is weird. He never called me on Messenger. And it's a video call. Because somebody done told him somebody's here. He want to see if he can see the person who's here. So he calls and he was just like, can I talk to my son? And I'm like, yeah, sure. Get the phone to my son. Let him talk to him or whatever. He is not his dad, but 
they have a father and son relationship or whatever. So get him the phone, let him talk to him. And they did their thing. And he had my son got none talking to him. He handed the phone back to me. I hung up to, you know, you know, I asked if he didn't need anything else. And then we hung up about an hour later. He calls back again, video call. And so at this point, I'm just like, I'm just finna keep it real because at this point, this is weird. So I'm just like, hey, what, what, what's up? Why are you calling me video chat? One of these little jokers around here told you I got somebody at the house. I say, it's true. I do. I got a man here chilling with me for the uh, 4th of July. What, what you need? What you trying to see what's going on? He's like, oh, no, no, no. Oh, oh, oh you got company? Oh, it ain't no pressure. It ain't no pressure. Yeah, it is. It was a whole lot of pressure. Because then shortly after that happened, he came straddling his, his behind down here, up here, to come play that little game that he played with me where he came in, took my goodies, and then grabbed his stuff and left. Yeah, that was the same incident. Mm-hmm. Crazy. But I caught on to it. I'm like, somebody, ain't no way he knew somebody was here. Because I ain't talking to him. My family members ain't calling him and telling him nothing. So, somebody around here watching. And there are still people around here watching me. But I stay in the house. Watch my car all day long if you want to, baby. I ain't hiding nowhere I'm going. If I'm going somewhere, I'm going somewhere. You will not have me scared to go this place and go that place. You won't have me that way. Mm -mm. You won't. I bet you won't. So... If he is watching these videos, all I can say is find the lies. But because you are narc, you ain't going to ever take accountability for nothing you did anyway. So leave me be. Let me do me. But yes, so uh, Scorpio Caria, to answer your questions, no, he's not reaching out to me yet. Right now. No, he is quiet as a mouse. He stands to himself and... As soon as I do something a little different or out of the norm, he'll be reaching out. And even if I don't, he still will reach out because it's only a matter of time that he can stay away from me. So he'll reach out eventually. I'm just preparing myself for when he do because, you know, I, I did some things differently this time. So he got to go through some hoops to get in touch with me this time. It ain't going to be that easy this time. So, yeah. Stay tuned for more videos. I'll be posting again later on once I get off work. I'm on my lunch break right now. And so I just wanted to tell y'all about the red flags. Please be careful. If you're still with your NART and you've seen that they've gotten acquainted with all of the neighbors and all the people in the neighborhood, be careful because that's them are your those are your flying monkeys that's going to report back if they do the discarding thing. So just... You know, stay woke, y'all. I love y'all. Have a great day. Mwah. Comment, like, share, and subscribe. And I love y'all for everything y'all do. Y'all making your girl feel beautiful. I thank y'all so much.